You hear that? That's the sound of fall approaching. Well, with summer coming to an end, it's time to pull up the old garden and put down something new that'll last into the fall and maybe even the winter. I've been meaning to do this for a little while and I was just gonna pull the tomatoes up, but man, all of a sudden they've started uh, putting on some flowers and some little green tomatoes. So I may hold on to these and give them a little bit of time and see what we can get out of them. I still have the okra back here. It's beginning to come on strong here late in the season. Remember, it was the late okra. And we've got a nice little pile of jalapeno peppers that are ready to come off of the plant. And then I'll probably just pull all of these up. This is my, my bell pepper plant, the one that's still alive and kicking. And believe it or not, this, I think this is a red bell pepper, supposed to be, so it's not ripe yet. But this is probably the best bell pepper I've ever grown. <laughs> Sad to say. And there's another one on here. I've pulled a couple off early just because I couldn't wait for them. But uh, we may let these sit too and see if they ripen up for me. But this whole area is going to need to be cleared out. And then we'll pull up the the pepper plants after I'm finished picking them. And then we're gonna try planting some kale. Now I have some seeds that I've planted for the past uh, three or four years. I got these off of Amazon and in the past they've grown really well for me. One year they grew all the way throughout the winter. We had uh, a lot of ice that year. Here in Arkansas, at least my part of Arkansas, we don't get snow, we just get ice. And there were days where I went outside and picked kale that was caked in ice and still it lasted all the way through the winter. I had to pull the kale up to plant my spring garden the following year. So they seem to be really good seeds. I just hope that they're not too old to germinate. We have kept them in the freezer the entire time, so I think we'll be all right. I just have to clear out a space to put them in. We're gonna start by cutting some okra. what I picked. Um, I guess not too bad for um, our small little patch of okra that we have here. Looks like I missed a couple there. I'm gonna have to go back and get those in just a second, but question for you. How small do you pick your okra? See, I don't like to pick them much smaller than this. I feel like I'm wasting it if, I, if they're too much smaller than that. Um, I usually try to let, that's a little bigger than what I really want them to be. Probably something more like this though, is where I usually try to pick them. But I see a lot of people that pick them really small, and I understand they're tender that way, but to me it feels like a little bit of a waste. Something else that I wanted to point out, see those little red speckles there? Some of you already recognize what those are. There are a few more of them. See the lighter colored ones? Those are the ones that have already hatched out. It looks like the stink bugs, or the leaf-footed bugs, whichever they are, are about to make a little comeback this fall. Um, hopefully, that means I'm timing this just about right. Uh, we're gonna pull everything up out of the garden so they won't have a whole lot to feed on, and maybe by the time the kale comes up, um, all the leaf-footed bugs will be gone. So maybe we've hit this just right. We also have a bunch of jalapeno peppers to pick. I'm not a fan of the jalapeno peppers. My stomach cannot handle the capsaicin, so I don't eat them. That's why they've stayed on the, the plant for as long as they have. But I don't want them to go to waste. My wife and my son really like jalapeno peppers, so I do have some plans for these little guys. We'll do more on that later. 
So it just dawned on me that uh, I've got all these extra little pots sitting around the house and I've got some greenhouse space inside of the, the house. So why not try and dig these things up and maybe extend their life a little bit in the house and see if we can't get some more peppers. I noticed they're still flowering a little bit. Uh, I think we've reached the point of diminishing returns um, as far as keeping them in the garden goes. But if we can keep them alive in the house, then hey, why not, right? We're gonna take these two plants in the house. Well, I missed a pepper. Let's grab that. Boop. We're gonna take these two plants into the house. Um, I think I'm gonna try pruning at least one of them back and see how long we can keep them alive. Well, I messed around and got distracted with my pepper plants over there, uh, but that's all right. It needed to be done, and we'll get to this garden whenever we get a chance to. Man, it's tough getting your homestead work finished when the only time you have to work on it is your after work time, if you know what I mean. But hopefully I'll have a chance tomorrow afternoon to come out again. If not, worst case scenario, the weekend's coming up and I'll be able to knock it out then. But right now, I'm going to get inside and spend some family time. So until next time, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, make sure you hit that like button. And hey, leave us a comment. We would love to hear from you. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell so we can see you back again next time for more Daily Sustainable.